Hey, welcome to today's Tuesday Tip Gang. Today we are going to be talking about how we mentally prepare for our races, especially races that we are anxious for, whether it's a big meet or a swim that we haven't done before, whatever the case may be, finding ways to set ourselves up for success mentally and emotionally. Cool? Cool? Have you guys ever had races where you were nervous going into it before? I haven't. I'm perfect. Anyway, we're going to go person by person and share some of our best strategies for how we might cope with a difficult situation that I can't even imagine what it would feel like. Uh, I'll start uh, by saying one of my biggest tips is that when you find yourself starting to go into that space of anxiety, or even worse, when we start to go into that death spiral of negativity, the first thing we need to do is change the narrative and change the story that we're telling ourselves. I remember one of my favorite sayings, it, you'll see it on the backs of shirts all the times where it's like inhale confidence and exhale doubt. And like whenever I saw that phrase, I was like, that's corny. <laughs> and then like I was having like a hard run one time and I started thinking that and I was like, okay, wait, actually, <laughs> I feel way better now. And I, I think finding really simple ways to just sort of flip the script for yourself whenever you're going into a race and you're like, oh my God, but what if, what if? And just finding a new avenue to talk to yourself is a really good foot to start on. When we're talking about preparation for races, I think one of the most important things to do is to be a little selfish before a race. Um, so once you get to 20 minutes before a race, it's probably best to have your own routine. So um, if your teammates are distracting you or if you just want to be focused on yourself, find some space to just dial yourself in. Um, you can visualize your race step by step. You can do a dynamic warm up, um, get the, the muscles loose, get the heart rate up. Um, you know, sort of whatever you need to do to focus up on your race 20 minutes beforehand, um, you know, you should, you should take advantage of that. In my opinion, uh, I, one, of, one of the things that I've done that's helped me with my anxiety and all that uh, pre-race feelings uh, is creating a small list of things that I can't control, like nailing turns, no breath breakouts, uh, having a certain amount of strokes, I, all, like visualizing this race and trying my best to focus on just one to three things that I can do. Um, because I, the time is just a consequence of doing those small things right. Uh, so there's no point of allowing a number to like dictate my happiness or uh, the result of that race Doing the small things right, creating a small list is, uh, is my advice. If you allow that list to get too big, uh, then you can create anxiety over that list. Like if you uh, try to nail every single aspect of your swim, it's impossible. So just focus on one to three things. Chris, Chris mentioned times and um, I think it's super important that you, know, you can definitely be disappointed with the time but the best athletes in the world, they're gonna look at that time and think, A, what could I have done better? And, and I think most importantly, was I prepared? So, you know, am I coming to practice every day? Am I doing what I need to do in practice? Um, that really matters when it comes to the race. So, you know, you can't be too tied up with times. Um, and if you are, you've gotta think, am I doing practice right? Am I preparing for the, the race 20 minutes before? So. Um, you got to look at the times a little more holistically. And you were saying this earlier too, kind of tying into what Chris was saying, that when we're going into our races, especially mid-distance and longer races, um, it's easy to fixate on like, well, this should be my split uh, at such and such distance. And when you're in the middle of a race, if you're thinking about what your splits are, there's no way that you're focused on how we should be feeling in the water and actually racing, right? Because you're not looking at the clock. It's not like you're going to be able to get any real tangible feedback during a race so splits should be like the furthest thing from your mind when you're racing when we're racing we're just focusing on how we're feeling in the water as chris was saying one to three things at most where we're just keeping a sort of repeated mantra of those things feeling good in the water and just having a good time and remembering that races are when we're just showing off right racing is just party time it's when we're having fun um all of the stuff that we need to do to make sure that we race correctly is happening in practice so once we show up it's just time to throw down and whatever will be will be well i do have an embarrassing story an example of this uh i i love exactly what you were talking about earlier uh like repeating a mantra or like a saying to yourself something that rem reminds you of uh 
why you're great and why you're okay. Uh, and for myself, I, I remember growing up and watching the Rocky movies. I know, I know. And uh, I hearing no pain or telling myself no pain in my head over and over again, like a tempo trainer, like just if anyone was in my head and could hear what I was telling myself, they'd go crazy. Uh, but that was so calming to me, like thinking of making the best of my situation, knowing that I can hurt more uh, and like training to the best of my ability by repeating just two words uh, over and over in my head. That always helped me, but I'm, I'm kind of psychotic. Oh, okay, uh, hopefully one or two of these things stick with you guys, uh, take something with you. Next time you're going into a meet that is either uh, a big deal for you or you're doing something new for the first time, uh, be willing to experiment. Uh, find ways to be selfish, as Charlie was saying, or uh, figure out a way to make your routine work for you before you go into a race. I have some really good practices in these upcoming weeks, and we're going to put this all to the test here as uh, we get into the new year pretty soon and get into our gauntlet in uh, January through March, which is going to be really exciting. Thank you, guys. That was awesome. See you guys next week. Bye-bye. Peace.